Boa Hancock is one of my favorite One Piece characters. When it comes to the women in One Piece, she's probably tied with Nico Robin for being my favorite in the series. I'd say it probably goes Hancock or Robin there, um, 1A, 1B, and then I'd say um, Nami and then Yamato, where Boa, she definitely does not get talked about enough like the other characters and this is probably because she does not have the screen time compared to the others <laughs> she's kind of like shanks honestly she's only been in a handful of chapters she's an interesting character and i don't think i've ever seen anybody in the community hate on her or get mad at her or not like her um so you know that's a plus for her so i'm gonna give my thoughts on why I like Bo Hancock as a character. But if you guys enjoy regular anime content, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys never saw a new video. With that away, my name is Potential Unleash, and let's talk about the pirate empress Boa Hancock. Boa is a former warlord of the sea. She is currently the pirate empress of Amazon Lily. Now, when she was younger, she was a very happy, um, optimistic, outgoing girl, but she had a tragic experience with her and her sisters after being taken and turned into slaves by celestial dragons. She was um, treated very poorly. She experienced a lot of specifically physical abuse and honestly I wouldn't have been surprised if it was sexual abuse as well typically that's what happened with slaves especially if you're good looking and as Boa got older we know um, she's such a beautiful woman today so her experiencing all of that and the tragic life that she lived you know forced to eat devil fruits until Fisher Tiger came and climbed up the red line and saved them. This was their first interaction with men and it definitely was not a good one. This is something that she would never forget. So this was binding her heart. She had a scar on her heart, being treated poorly. Obviously you'd hate, well, if you experience with one thing um, from a man, you'd expect that to be all men. And this is why she hates and despises them which kind of caused a bit of a shift in her personality. As I mentioned before, Hancock was, she was a kind girl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I still do think that she is kind. However, we do see a shift in her persona. She puts on this tough girl act so that she can be strong, where she goes and she kicks these cute animals that are in her way. Um, she talks down on others, and she even strikes that famous pose of her looking down on people, but she's not really looking down. She's like looking up, but that's her way of looking down. I don't know. It's pretty funny every time I see it. Um, but I do want, like I said, I do want to clarify that Hancock, she is a kind girl, but she doesn't ever want to be taken advantage of or looked at differently because she was a former slave. And characters that are at, at least I think are based off of Hancock because they came out after um, Princess of Bonnet from Fire Force, No Silver from Black Clover um, a little bit. Um, they just remind me of her and I love those characters um, almost as much as I like Hancock. Being introduced Hancock, she is strong AF. She has the Mero Mero or the Love Love um, No Me. It allows for her to turn anyone who has any attraction or lust towards her into stone. And even some vice admirals had some difficulty with his double fruit as one of them had to stab himself so he wouldn't be turned to stone in order to distract him. That that takes a lot of courage to do. I know I'm not stabbing myself. And I made a video about this a while ago when I first started my YouTube channel. It's a little bit outdated and there's, you know, the editing's not like that um and also there's some things that i might have changed but i talked about characters that she couldn't turn to stone i'm um, gonna leave that in the description if you guys want to check it out but also i do want to mention there's s snake um the seraphim that is based off of hancock's dna she can turn people into stone as well who find her cute or adorable want to mention that so hancock her devil fruit has the ability to turn strong opponents into stone for example probably shanks i'm um, bringing him up because a lot of people consider him to be the strongest character in the series i know i do now um especially after what happened in the recent chapters if shanks finds her attractive then well she can turn into stone but you know, that's a debate for a different day you know his speed and you know all of that there are some people that are immune to hancock 
For example, Luffy. He saw her in the bath and he wasn't attracted to her. But well, I mean that's because Usopp was there. You know, and Luffy, Luffy about Luffy about the the titties just as much as the next guy. So you know, but Usopp wasn't there. But that's besides the point. He constantly he put this girl in her place, right? Hancock would say different things, and Luffy was like, "Man, shut the fluff up. You ain't nobody." So Luffy, he definitely showed Hancock, yo, that you know there are other things that you have to be worried about there are other things um and not everybody is out to get you not everybody wants to harm you he showed her a new light for men there was different times where she tried to set him up um tried to break the different statues and put him in predicaments where luffy would show his true nature and he did right his true nature was well him being kind and so there was the scene where he jumped on one of um, Hancock's sisters to protect the celestial dragon claw that they have on their back in order for nobody to see it and you know that was very honorable of him and Hancock even noticed that it just shows how kind it and kind-hearted Luffy is and as he went to her castle um, she explained everything that she went through the scar the meaning of that and she was scared she was like yo Luffy he might judge me he might look down on me and Luffy was like man I don't give a fluff you're Hancock Right, it is what it is, and this ended up, you know, turning her. Um, she's, you know, the heartless icy queen to, or empress to, someone with a bigger heart and more open-minded towards men. Right, he didn't condemn her, he didn't laugh at her. So this gave Hancock all she needed to fall in love with him. Having that love sickness is crazy. Also, Luffy, I want to mention him and Hancock have a pretty close relationship because he usually calls people. Um, by nicknames. He used to call her Hammock and now he calls her Hancock. Uh, if you look at the Straw Hats, he doesn't call them by nicknames. Yamato called Yamo. Um, Traffy, oh, well, Trafalgar Law, he's either called Traffy or Traff Guy. So it just shows that Luffy and her have a closer relationship than, you know, other people. And he also, well, he's known her the longest because. Well, he was on Kuja Aizen for two years, so. Um, but yeah, she fell in love with him because of his kind heart and his look. Luffy's a good looking guy, right? He's a handsome fella, right? He gets all he gets all the girls, you know, there's Hancock, Vivi, Shirohoshi, Becca, like, hey. But I, I just want to say that I love the fact that Hancock, she can't say no to anything that Luffy does. She took him to Impo down. Um, she gave him a place to stay after the Marine for War, etc. Where it makes sense for her to fall in love with him after, he, you know, his personality and the fact that he saved and protected her. I mentioned her devil fruit earlier. Um, and she also had a really dope line that I, I always love. When the wars were being abolished, everybody was freaking out. She said, what are y'all freaking out for? Warlords of the sea, we were chosen because of our strength. She has all three types of hockey, um, observation, armament, and conquerors. However, she does not, um, it hasn't been revealed that she has advanced. Will it happen? It wouldn't surprise me um, because we've seen how strong she is. She was one-shotting pacifistas in Marine Four. Um, she even did Smoker dirty. We know how much Luffy struggled against him, and she handled Smoker like he was lightweight. She also has a bounty of, I believe it's around the 1.6 billion berry mark. I don't know the exact amount, um, but she got that after um, the warlord system was abolished, where she has one of the highest, if you include like people who are dead, like Whitebeard and Roger, uh, she's in the top 15 highest bounties, but if you don't include them, she is in the top 10 um, that we know of for having one of the highest bounties in the series. Also, in the recent chapters, um, she fought against Blackbeard, turned some of his captains into stone. And, well, Blackbeard, he ended up beating her, had her in a chokehold. But, to be fair, Blackbeard's doing that to everybody. We saw what he did to Ace. In terms of strength, when you compare her to the other women, I have her at number three. I think Big Mom, um, whether she's alive or not, I'm not sure. So I'm going to say, hey, she's alive as One Piece. Um, I think Big Mom is the strongest. Then Yamato, simply because Yamato has Conqueror's coding and Hancock's not confirmed to have that. Then I have Hancock as number three. And somewhere in there, I, you know, depending on if we see uh, Gion, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She was one of the Admiral candidates. Uh, depending on what we see from her, she might be over Hancock. I'm not necessarily sure. But right now, I have Hancock as the third strongest woman in One Piece. But yeah, man, Boa Hancock, she definitely needs more screen time. There was the little filler stuff um, that happened to promote uh, Stampede. She was in there. I love seeing her. Her and Luffy in her action it was dope. We haven't seen her in such a long time. And the reason why I made this video, because I rewatched Stampede recently and that clip of her running at supersonic speed, kicking bullet, 
that was really fine. It just shows how strong she is. She's such a likable character, and she got some sass too. Not gonna lie. Um, in terms of like personality, this is probably the the woman I go for um, IRL. So you know, but she's got Luffy, so that kind of sucks. And there's an age difference between the two. I think she's 31, and Luffy's 19. So that's what 12 years. Um, I mean, hey, eight and nothing but enough. No, just kidding. But um, they're both adults, right? But I do want to see them end up together. Um, the lead woman in the series, it's not a guarantee that they go with the MC. I mean, look at Naruto. Um, Sakura is going with Sasuke. Bleach, Rukia is going with Renji. And what's another one? Um, Dragon Ball, Boma is going with Vegeta. So it's not a guarantee that um, she would be going with uh with well luffy would be going with nambi uh but i think hancock she after everything she's been through she deserves her happiness but let me know how you guys feel about boa hancock in the comment section below like i said she is my favorite girl tyler nico robin for my favorite girls in one piece and i think she's like six one or six three so you know hey I, I like i said i i am not that tall i'm not short but i'm not tall i'm like five eight um she definitely you know is one of the girls that have me considering starting it talk to taller women but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll the notification bell so you guys never saw a new video from me it's going to turn attention tiktok is on the screen in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to unleash your potential